I always have thoughts of not being good enough or feeling like a failure, but it's sometimes hard to pinpoint where those thoughts and feelings come from. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I needed a different scenery. Um, I feel like with what I do, staying at home and working from home, things are just never ending. Like my time is always just busy, busy, busy. And today was one of those days where I just needed to get out of the house because I don't get to do that often on my own. And so as soon as my husband got home, I said, I gotta go work. I'm gonna go um, make this video. And so I brought you guys here to the park and you guys will be hearing some sounds of nature and all that other stuff, but definitely needed something different to get me out of that monotonous routine that I have all day long. And then of course I went to go get my refreshing drink at Dutch Bros and let me take a sip of that. So um, last week I opened up to you guys about certain struggles that I have been dealing with, with like anxiety and depression. And today is more or less a follow up to that. Um, I do have my notes because I feel like I can't just, I can't process my thoughts unless I have something written down. Um, I was trying to make this video um, a way to be open about myself and like, you know, the things that I am kind of going through, but also finding a helpful way or finding a way to help others in the process. I think there's a huge stigma attached when talking about mental health issues, especially if you come from a culture like mine, um, where those things just don't really exist. The more the conversation started, I feel the more people will be more open to seek answers to find out why they're feeling the way that they are. So in today's video, I'm sharing five tips that you can apply to your life to improve your mental health that I'm also applying to my own personal life as well. And of course, we gotta recognize that not everybody's on the same level of coming to terms with their feelings or their level of healing. So when this video may be like baby steps to some, it might be, you know, been there, done that to others. Either way, I hope that it helps at least one person who's watching. So jumping right into the first tip, we're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the point and talk to someone whether it's a family or a friend or if you are far beyond that point probably the best choice for you is to speak to someone in a more professional setting coincidentally enough as I was planning this specific video to follow up on the last one BetterHelp actually reached out to me to sponsor this video so I want to send a big thanks to them for doing that so I actually have been waiting for my provider to send over a referral for a I think it was a whatever, I was gonna see a counselor, but they have not called me back at all. So when BetterHelp um, reached out to me, of course I signed up. So I actually have my first session scheduled here in a couple of days. Right off the bat, I was actually met with a therapist that asked about different aspects of my life um, to kind of see where we needed to start. And I feel like that took a lot of pressure from me because I feel like at some point, point I forget things that I want to talk about so it was just a, like a really in-depth um, questions about what type of um, what I was looking for like I am to that point where I do need to speak to somebody in a more professional setting and I'm super excited to you know attend my first session with a BetterHelp therapist. BetterHelp offers customized online therapy that offers phone, video, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So if you're like me and get kind of timid, you know, speaking to someone on camera or whatever, you don't have to do that. There's also a broad range of expertise. You can find over 20,000 therapists that are available, which you may not necessarily find in your area. So when you sign up, all you have to do is fill out a questionnaire and then based on those answers, they will match you with the therapist within 40 eight hours I actually got matched within a day like 24 hours and I think that same day I got a message from the therapist as well once you get matched you can schedule your secure phone or live video session and you have a limited amount of messages that you can go like back and forth and everything is confidential if you're not happy or if you feel like your therapist is not a good fit for you you can actually change for a different therapist at any time at no extra charge if this is something that you're interested in definitely join the three plus million people that have already joined BetterHelp. you can get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash rsle and everything is linked down in the description for you guys this is probably the best way to take charge of your mental health and have someone so, have somebody to talk to that can relay information back to you um, without having a biased opinion and all that and just kind of helping you 
um, try to figure out and process your thoughts and your feelings. So that's it for tip number one. Let's go ahead and jump right into tip number two. So tip number two to improve your mental health is to start a new habit. It doesn't have to be a huge change in your life. Starting small, um, I guess my habit was to restart, you know, like working out and working on my physical health and it wasn't easy. I guess like the habit that I am trying to include in that is to just wake up a little bit earlier and have a little bit more time for myself. I think I would be feeling a little bit worse or if not much, much worse if I wasn't doing that because it became a huge part of my life. So when it was abruptly taken from me, it really did hit me hard. Um, so yeah, any, any habit that you can start, whether it's you take a short stroll, you know, um, in your neighborhood in the mornings or just waking up earlier to, you know, have your cup of coffee before everybody's up. Um, I think having at least that little bit of time to yourself, if, especially if you're busy like me, like I, like I said, I don't get a lot of time. So um, that one hour that I get in the morning is, is something that I, that is a habit for me now, no matter what. With my anxiety and depression, I have an overwhelming amount of thoughts and worries that span across my own self, my personal and social life, as well as my career path and current responsibilities. I always have thoughts of not being good enough or feeling like a failure, but it's sometimes hard to pinpoint where those thoughts and feelings come from. So the next three tips are sort of what I'm going to do or I'm trying to do um, to fix that. So number three, we're going to go ahead and get organized. So I am the head of the household, I feel. <laughs> um, not that I'm like the boss or anything like that. My husband does a lot, but I feel like I am the default parent. So everything kind of falls back on me, like the decision making, the doctor's appointments, the what's for dinner, the this and then that and then this and then that. So I on a daily have probably, I don't know, 20 tabs open maybe more um, in my brain of things to do. I fell off of my uh, planning, but that's actually something I decided to get back into. And I love planners, you guys. I love doing planners. I love getting, you know, colorful pens and stickers and all of that stuff and just like jotting everything down that I have to do. And I feel like by doing that, it, it takes it takes a lot out of my mind so that I don't have to remember everything and you know forget some things because I didn't keep track of this or keep track of that so you don't have to get fancy um, planners or anything like that this one my husband actually bought for me at Burlington and I saw it and I'm like I really like it but it's like $13 scarcity mindset and he's like just get it <laughs> so I did and um, I just started using it this month and um, it's made it so much easier for me to like kind of keep track of like all the appointments and all the things that I have to do without like, you know, going back in my 30, 30th tab in my brain. Keep a planner handy. That way you can kind of relieve the weight of all that stuff in your brain. The final two tips, three and four, more or less kind of go together if you look at it that way. But um, for tip number four, I would suggest you read a book and I know these tips may seem silly or like no you know I don't have time to read a book this or that um, again make a habit you know create a habit that you can stick to something that's not too crazy and difficult and I will show you guys here um, I actually am big on getting books that are like self-help books or um, self-care books stuff like that it's something that I like to kind of lose myself in and I do like reading books that are like fiction I don't you know it doesn't always have to be nonfiction recently that's what I've been reading and stuff but one of these days I'll find a really good book that I can get through um, I think the last series that I got through was like the Twilight series and the Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey which is pretty much a copycat of Twilight only dirtier and I don't know anyway um books you guys so i just went to my library and picked up this book and this one is called authentically uniquely you and of course it's you know the whole self-help self-help you know trying to figure out ways to better myself and um kind of get out of the 
get out of this rut that I've been in for a while. There's many different options for you guys to do books. If you don't have time to sit down and read, you can do like audible, like audiobooks through Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, I know that you get free audiobooks. I know I get messages all the time saying you have a free audiobook. And then if you can go to your local library and then actually also while uh, trying to figure trying to find some books, I was able to find Hoopla through the Jackson through my local library. So Hoopla is a website that you can go to and they link together to where you can check out ebooks. So where you don't have to have like the physical book, um, you can check out an ebook. I think that's a really good option, especially if you don't have the funds or if you don't wanna pay for a book that you may not like. Last but not least, number five of my tips um, is to write it out. Uh, I feel like it helps me a lot when I can write down my feelings. I'm a, a visual person a lot of the time. So um, even when I'm making my notes, you know, I like to write a lot of stuff down. I don't like to just you know do bullet points most of the time i write everything out and i think it really helps to express yourself um, in a way that you may not be able to do um, with a person it's just more personal you can write about stuff that you may not want to share that you can still kind of look back on and process and uh, may maybe will help you find um like a solution if you're actually reading you know what you're writing so I think having a journal is a great idea a notebook it doesn't have to be anything fancy a little notebook like this um, write your story it says this one was $3.99 at like TJ Maxx or something like that and it's just you know something to write on and this is just basically for me to keep notes and stuff um, one book that I actually ordered and I got it today I actually already got through the first chapter of it uh, the self-confidence workbook so it's both a read and then also something that you can journal in and I really actually like it considering that I did get it today and I like I said I'm already um, through chapter one you know I did my highlights I did my notes and all of that um, and then I what I really like about this one actually was that it can be used it can also be used if you go to therapy and it specifically says it in here that it could be a tool that you can take to your therapist so that they can kind of coincide and be like a, a helpful tool <laughs> um, to figure out you know your feelings on all that also on my um, on my planner I'm gonna open up for you guys open it up for you guys at the end of the month and actually somebody mentioned or suggested this in my previous video to write down thoughts of gratitude so I really like this planner because it has the planning and then it also has stuff that you can um, like a page that you can write stuff on uh, you know that makes you feel gratitude so I am grateful for things that make me happy things that inspire me in closing my five tips were to find someone to talk to preferably somebody who is licensed or you know in a professional setting I feel like that's how you're gonna get the most back to help your um, healing and also just improve your mental health number two was to create a habit something small it doesn't have to be huge um, you know something that's gonna break up your routine or your the rut that you're in number three was to get a planner and just keep yourself organized to kind of minimize the clutter that you have in your mind and you know keeping up with everything around you um, and then number four was to read a book and number five was to write it out. Again, these are tips that I am applying to my own life. I hope that it's something that you guys can apply to your own life that's gonna be helpful in this healing journey. Um, and that is, I think, it for today. It is starting to get noisier and noisier and the mosquitoes are coming out to get me. It is hot as well. And you know, I barely even sipped on my drink, you guys. Um, I also feel like part of what I'm doing and also um, coming out of my comfort zone and coming out in public <laughs> to film a whole video um, is something that I think is going to be good for me as well. Of course, I was also trying to escape my house um, and all the responsibilities there, but you know, I, I needed this time and I'm actually really, really happy that I was able to come here. and. You know it's nice and peaceful and it's a park so of course there's gonna be noise but 
you guys that is gonna be it for today i thank you guys so much for joining me if you guys are new here i would love for you guys to join me on my socials instagram and tiktok you guys will see the links down below and again if you are interested in betterhelp.com just go on down to the description again you'll get 10 percent off your first month when you sign up through my link and i am going to call it good thank you guys i hope you have an amazing amazing day and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.